New information today in a murder case that is nearly a decade old. Police do say when a person commits a crime as serious as this, they don't keep it secret forever. It takes an extreme rage to kill someone the way my mom was killed. My mom always kept the doors locked. She was very, very cautious. I believe she knew her attacker. The 1996 dark green Ford Taurus may be connected to the crime. People will kill over money. When I was 16, I nominated my mom for Mother of the Year. She actually won it. For all of my kids, they just loved being with Grandma Connie and having fun. I was over there with my younger son and daughter. She was doing a sewing project for us. I got a call about 11 o'clock from one of her coworkers, and it just wasn't like her not to be at work and not let anybody know. I had a key to her home. I called her name and she didn't answer. Somebody had hurt her. I put my hand on her back to see if she was breathing, and she wasn't. My sister called me and told me <laughs> that she died. The cause of death was blood force trauma to the head. It wasn't like somebody came through that house and turned the furniture over. It wasn't a robbery. She had no known enemies, no known people that even just liked her. I mean, it didn't make any sense. It was emotionally driven. Somebody was angry and couldn't control that anger once they decided to hurt her. Around six foot, 50-ish, 60-ish guy with gray hair. We wrapped ourselves around what can we do to help get the story out there. Officials have remained quiet about how much DNA evidence they have. I'd asked him why he took everything down and he said, well, it's been a year, it's time to move on. Day marks seven years since Connie Bolter was murdered in her Appleton home. More evidence that has not been released. A former bank employee is considered a suspect. At least 21 search warrant subpoenas and court orders have been issued. They always say if you want to find the answer to stuff, follow the money trail. 
if anybody was doing anything that they shouldn't at the bank, she would have known. I could see her standing up for her morals and what she truly believed in. guy kind of fits this guy to a T. He was seen with a shirt that appeared to have blood spatter on it. That that could be our mom's blood. That's really hard to take in. No formal charges have been filed. I do believe that Jim Olson had something to do with my mom's murder. If he did do it, and he was a man, he would turn himself in. It's been 10 years. Let's figure this out. Let's get some answers. My kids missed out on a great grandma. Somebody took so many years from them.